Hey everyone and welcome to another episode of Fight Chat Friday from TKD Coach Academy. This week we're looking at the Blitz and how to answer the Blitz with your own direct counter. So if the Blitz has been a problem for you in the past and you'd like to solve those problems, stay with us for this episode. everybody welcome back to fight chat friday so adrian mentioned we're going to have a look at the blitz today so we've done a little bit of a, a series over the last couple of episodes of looking at direct counters yeah so we did the psychic in the last episode looking at the high section psychic and the middle psychic so go check that out if you haven't but today we're going to look at the blitz so we're going to get right into it and have a look at some direct counters for the blitz one of the most common techniques you'll see um kind of started around the 2012 in terms of the the wacko blitz sneaking into itf a lot so it's a very common shot that's thrown so it's good to have some counters in the bag absolutely and let's you know while we're talking about it it is direct counters we're not looking at moving off the line first really or anything like that um and this was uh, kind of prompted as a series by uh black bear jim and uh, erlingen in germany um asking a couple of questions about the you know options on direct counters so let's just start with a nice sweet back kick into this blitz and see how that looks mm -hmm. the biggest thing with the back kick is you're looking for that direct line and that's what you'll see in all these clips here here we have neil Ernest, and he's looking for that direct line but what you got to also be aware of is your spacing as you go back of course you're going to retreat to get that distance to be uh, managed because they're attacking you got to go back to get that distance so you just got to be aware of your ring position and maybe falling over etc but a fantastic shot if you can get it taking the wind right out of your opponent absolutely and i think where we have david falling over there he's having to jump upwards a little just to make sure the shot mm -hmm. is legal against colin where normally speaking you can retreat a little bit more because the blitz itself carries the attacker lower, so you, their, their center of gravity will be dropping slightly. The, ang the angle of the body is changing. They're going to be inclined forward, mm. and it just meets the shape of the foot and the back kick perfectly. Um, and, you know, it, you find yourself in that sweet spot. The key is the distance, and if your head isn't moving back, and we'll see it with the defensive side kick as well, if your head isn't moving back and your space is being taken by the, the blitz coming in, this shot's not going to work. Likewise, as we said before, if the foot's carrying low and you're not picking up the heel towards the backside, this shot's not going to work. So it really is one where you do have to practice that timing. Definitely. Got to get that switch on the feet. Knees close, heel high, like you said. But um, we see in all these examples, technically they, they might not score because you might leave the ring or you might fall over. Mm -hmm. But what it does is it really puts a mental block in your opponent. So maybe they're going to think twice now the next time before attacking you with that blitz again. Which, yeah. If it's their biggest weapon, that's, that's happy days for you. you you're going to take that away from them and then you can explore a bit more with your own shots. Yeah, so just one example of this next shot where we're going to be using that, the backhand directly. Um, because the, the one example in this case is enough, it really is sweet. Yeah, great shot, Caravan Noon here. And what I really like about this is he's leaning his weight over his front foot, almost selling it and is in saying, come, in, come on in, get my head with a nice easy shot. And he just dips his head, a bit of head movement and sends it right down the pipe. Yeah, and I think the, that's really the important part. It's not moving the whole body off the line. In this case, it's just taking the head off the line, um, you know, to make sure that uh, Davide's front hand shoots past the head on Carl's left, and that lets Carl slip in that left hand cross there. And you know, it's it's a great shot in that case, um, and that's going to be really really important if you are going to be looking at a direct counter with the hands. You know, you can be you can be squeezed in the same way as the as the back kick. You can be squeezed by the advancing mm -hmm. blitz. So you do need to you know move the head early, send the hand early, so that you meet with some extension. Because if we only have a, a bent arm, we're not going to get a score either. Usually, I say to people when they're trying to counter a blitz, not to be static on the feet, yeah, and wait for it. But Carl is actually a step ahead in this one. He sells it so well because usually you might have your front hand extended to have it like as an extra line of defense. And that's a great thing you can use, especially with the defensive psychic that we'll see next. But mm -hmm. Carl doesn't have that. He's almost inviting Davide to come in and because he's that step ahead. He knows what he wants to do. Um, so you, you got to be aware of that as well. It's If you're that step ahead, it's fine. But you don't want to just settle on the feet and wait for them to attack and then counter. You're going to be a step behind. Too easy for them to change the distance and cause mm -hmm. trouble for you. 
Okay, so moving on to that defensive psychic, let's have a look at a few good examples. Again, this is another one that you got to be aware of your space on the retreat. Um, so what comes next is the important question you got to ask yourself and train. So you got to get into the habit of not only just landing this and settling, but what comes next, maybe getting to an angle, maybe coming back in yourself. But as, as we were kind of mentioned earlier, this is another one that just puts a stop on your opponent and it can be the mental block that stops them from continuing with the shot, even if it doesn't score very clean, which often does though. Yeah, it, it surely does because there's that stretch involved in that you're moving back. There's the full long line of the leg to your uh, to the target. Um, but I think what uh, you know in some of these examples, the the, uh, the the best examples, we can see the front hand coming up to cover the blitz as well. So as yeah. the head leans back and gets out of the way, and we'll see it particularly well in this front uh, first one from um, Ukraine. Uh, when the lean back happens, the left hand comes up to cover uh, Colin's blitz. So there's a bit of interference there. It's buying a little bit more time to get the head back and the body out of the way. And that just gives the time he needs to get that psychic off because it is a time game. So having that longer stance, having that little bit of body lean as the head comes back, transitioning the weight to your back foot, you know, putting up the fence with the front hand and then getting out of there. Uh, those principles all combined buy you a little bit of time to get the kick in. Yeah, and it does depend on your body type as well. And um, we see three different types really here. And um, Danilo, more of like a side rising version where he just puts the block in front of yeah. Colum. Then we have um, Dylan who really lifts his knee high with that chamber. And you can also have the variation of the low knee. We might see it in a uh, Wacko Point fighting often where the knee kind of drops down. And it's just yeah. kind of like, a, it's you almost like a side under. kick, back kick hybrid. Yeah. Exactly. Um, so there's many ways you can get this. You just got to be aware of, ideally you want long distance because they're coming into the distance. They're trying to close the distance with the blitz. You have sure. the advantage. So if you can keep that long distance, not only is it good for you because you don't get hit, but it's a nice visual for the referees as well to see the long, clear shot. Yeah, and that can be the disadvantage sometimes with the, the likes of the sidekick that Dylan was throwing there where because you pull the knee back so far, yes, it buys you some space, but if you don't mm. get enough time to extend there, sometimes they, it stops the opponent, but the kick is still very short yep. and it's harder for the judges to see. So the last one that we picked is kind of a bailout. It's, um, you know, you're kind of a little bit caught and it doesn't always work effectively or score effectively, but it's a, it is an option to go to. Um, and that's getting some uh, some uh, elevation. Yeah, so ground. you want to... Taking the high ground, yeah. You definitely want to be going backwards with this one. Um, but as we kind of said earlier, it's not really one that will get you very... It's, it's not one that you get a big return really on the scoreboard, but it just kind of almost brings it to a neutral position mm. and it kind of just nullifies the blitz a little. And it's not really going to put a stop on your opponent or anything like that, but it's just a, a one to be aware of. It's kind of like um, last ditch effort if they get really, really close. So you see Dylan gets really close to Nej here and um, he just kind of reacts with it almost. Mm. So it's just a kind of one to almost stop them from getting the clean, clean score instead of just covering up. Yeah, I mean, what happens there, of course, is like once the person starts the blitz, they don't have much uh, capacity to adjust. So mm. that front hand is going where that front hand is going. So once you take that, you know, your head up out of the line of that and it's coming in against the chest or whatever it happens to be, it's kind of the, the, the judge's view of it is spoiled by the fact that you're higher and you're punching down. So it's like yeah. in team sparring where a smaller fighter goes into a bigger fighter and sometimes the bigger fighter just leans back and swings over the top. And it's mm. very, very hard to give credit for those yeah, punches fair. to the chest when you're seeing some punches coming down on yeah. the head. The The issue being you still have to land and when you land, you're vulnerable. So mm. um, we were looking for and just didn't happen to find it there, you know, as we were looking for that uh, the uh, retreating back fist, um, yeah. which uh, there's little training videos of it, but it's not the same as seeing it in competition where mm. you're, you're giving ground, making a small angle maybe as well, but you're looking at sending the back fist over the top of that front hand. Um, and that, again, in the same vein as the jumping punches, can be a nice, um, you know, single score and sets you up for an exit. Yeah, nice option as, as well. And another one, we didn't have a clip, um, but kind of like that step off hook. So off the mm. front hand, kind of like uh, what Fly Mayweather calls the check hook. So you just kind of almost rotate your back leg, pivot out off the straight line yeah, and use your front leg, kind of like uh, almost like a matador. 
so that you kind of send your opponent flying past you. So it's a nice one to almost get the angle before you land your shot as the counter. So it's a nice little one as well. If you can um, get good with that, it's a useful shot. And it's crazy because it's one I can picture in my head so many people doing, but when you go to look in the yeah. fights, finding the example was really, really difficult today. So, you know, if somebody has a nice example, please drop that into the comments for us on this one uh, or hit us up on any of the social media. Uh, we'd love to kind of stick that one on. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it's a shot I quite like as well. Um, particularly if you know the the legs aren't so snappy and fast uh, yeah you know it, it is a nice one um, so uh, again if there's any other ones that you you think would work or are very very effective make sure you drop us a, a comment and we'll definitely discuss them going forward um, and again if this short format of video is something that you like let us know as well because we're experimenting at the moment between the 10 minute 20 minute and the, mm -hmm. the longer formats so let us know which ones you like and which ones you like for what type of episode and uh, we'll try to respond to all of that yeah and as you've seen in the intro make sure and get involved in our email newsletter we've got some big news coming soon so get into the description below sign up for that and you'll be the first to know what's coming next so as always thanks for joining us on fight chat friday Hit this video a like, subscribe if you're new, and we'll catch you in the next one. See you next week.